Hello, testing, testing, hello. Okay, uh, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti, Santi, Amen. Prayer for the protection of hands and inclusion to the people. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands and Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the relation of their fortune, including the founder. All being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic group, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and authority to unjust drugs, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his party to be enlightened to see the light behind the false doctrine and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make 
and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride of the world. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord, and us to realize that fear, envy, hunger, and unforgiveness come from Satan and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves as God has done. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion so that we Serpent from the same fear guilty of without authority or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy we encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help us to see. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calusod, pray for us. Saint Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Sergius the Third, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoing. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and peace the hearts of everyone. All organizations and all the people who family work to the organization and we serve them with faith. And those that we all took part in the conspiracy to call to accuse anyone and hands in exclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses, as we are disposed to trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are those among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. The Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to, to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen.
ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Monday, March 15, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hans Institution Philippines YouTube channel. We will begin our show with our verse for today from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be right back after the commercial. Now there.
ओके टेस्टिंग टेस्टिंग हेलो ओके वेरी गुड हेलो हेलो टेस्टिंग टेस्टिंग सर वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर टॉपिक फॉर आवर नाउ ओके तो वेलकम बैक टू एजिटोरियल दिस इवनिंग वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कंफ्यूजन वी ऑल नो दैट कंफ्यूजन डजंट फील गुड बिकॉज इट सीम्स लाइक एन ऑब्स्टिकल टू लर्निंग वी ट्राई टू अरेंज एजुकेशन एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड ट्रेनिंग सेशंस सो दैट लर्नर्स विल एनकाउंटर एज लिटिल कंफ्यूजन एज पॉसिबल बट एज इट सो ऑफ द केस व्हेन इट कम्स टू लर्निंग Our intuitions here are exactly wrong. Scientists have been building a body of evidence for the past few years, demonstrating that confusion can be used to learn more efficiently, more deeply, and more lastingly, as well as its properly managed. How can this be? The human brain is a pattern recognition machine. It can also identify related events or artifacts and connect them into a meaningful whole. This capacity serves us well. In many endeavors, from recognizing the underlying themes in literature, understanding the deep structure of scientific or mathematical problems, and anticipating hidden complications and key variations in our work, over time, exposure to these problem-solving situations gives us a sense of familiarity with their essential nature that we can hardly articulate in words, but which we can easily put into action. We short-circuit this process of subconscious learning. However, when we rush into some Too soon with an answer, it's better to allow that confused and pondered feeling to last a little longer for two reasons. First, not knowing the single correct way to solve a problem allows us to explore a wide variety of potential explanations, thereby giving us a deeper and broader sense of the deep import. Second, the feeling of being confused, of not knowing what's up, creates the artful drive to figure it out. We're motivated to look more deeply, search for the curiosity for solution, make so daily see and understand things we would not have. I will simply be handed the answer at the outset. Creation may accompany other symptoms, which may vary depending on the underlying disease, disorder, or condition. Symptoms that frequently affect the brain may also involve other body systems and disorders, but we should be associated with serious infections, some chronic medical conditions, Head injury, brain or spinal cord tumor, delirium, stroke or dementia. It can be caused by alcohol or drug intoxication, sleep disorders, chemical or electrolyte imbalance, vitamin deficiencies, and medication. It can also occur in the period following the seizure or the post-critical period or as a result of hypothermia. Because confusion can do can be due to serious illnesses, we need to seek treatment can result in serious complications and permanent damage. Once the underlying cause is diagnosed, it's important for you to follow the treatment plan that junior healthcare professional defines specifically for you to reduce the risk of potential complications, including difficulty swallowing, paralysis or inability to move a body part, permanent cognitive impairment, permanent loss of sensation, personality changes, physical disability, unconsciousness, and coma. Here. There are three ways that researchers have deliberately interest in the confusion and how you can adapt to your own learning. First, expose yourself to confusing material. Read a story by surrealist writer Franz Kafka or watching a movie by the effective filmmaker David Lynch exposes, imposes on us a meaning threat. You have a comfortable feeling that nothing quite makes sense. We become motivated to find meaning somewhere, even if not in the original story or film. And this disposition actually makes us more accurate at picking out patterns. That's the finding of Travis Bullock and Stephen J. Hines. Researchers published their results in the journal Psychological Science. If you're about to engage in any sense making activity from analyzing data to solving word problems, you may want to try the living some material that doesn't make much sense first. Withhold the answers from yourself. We heard a lot lately about the benefits of experiencing and overcoming pain. One way to get these benefits is to set things up so that you're sure to fail by tackling a difficult problem without any section or assistance. Manu Kapoor, 
a researcher at the Learning Sciences Lab at the National Institute of Education in Singapore, has reported in the Journal of the Learning Sciences that people who try solving math problems in this way don't come up with the right answer, but they do generate a lot of ideas about the nature of the problems and about what the best solution would look like, leading them to perform better on such problems in the future. A poor cause is the best finger, and you can implement it in your own learning by allowing yourself to struggle with the problem for a while before seeking help or information. Test yourself before you learn. It sounds crazy, but studies by May Cornell, a psychology professor at Williams College, and others have found that trying to answer questions about material you haven't even seen yet will help you learn that information better once you do, you do encounter. In an article published in the Journal of Experimental Psychology Applied, Cornell and his co-authors theorize that searching our minds for answers, even if we come up empty space fertile ground in the brain and so the answer when it is eventually provided. We can do this yourself by clicking through a book or report. You have to read and giving yourself on the chapter titles and section headings. Many excerpts of my list of the these questions is that we use as a reason. My favorite suggestion for using this technique. As you start to Google some piece of information, pause before looking at the results of the search engine research and try to come up with the answer yourself. Even if you can't do it, you'll be more likely to learn the information that is in front of your own eyes. In summary, confusion occurs when the person has difficulty understanding a situation or has disordered or unclear thoughts. It can be accompanied by memory loss, disorientation, or the inability to think quickly. Confusion can increase slowly over time or come up or come on up abruptly depending upon the cause. It may be associated with serious infections, some chronic medical conditions, head injury, brain, or spinal cord tumor, delirious stroke, or dementia. It can also be caused by alcohol or drug intoxication, sleep disorders, chemical or electrolyte imbalances, vitamin deficiency, and inflammation. And also for the previous or the future or after cause of type of Confusion in the elderly may be aggravated by environment challenges, such as being admitted to the hospital or as a result of sundowning, confusion occurring late in the day or at night that may accompany certain types of dementia in the late afternoon or evening. Behavioral changes can accompany confusion. Depending upon the cause, confusion may be temporary, treatable condition, or may be progressive. And that's the end of our topic proper. Now let us now move on to the announcement part of the show. For our sales at the hand inclusion online shop, for our t-shirts, the white color t-shirts, The small size is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, large is 450 pesos, extra large is 460 pesos, and additional 50 pesos is back at the back. For the black colored health inclusion t shirt, the small size is 450, medium is 460, large is 470 pesos, extra is 480, with additional 50 pesos for the back at the back. For the tote bag, the pants and inclusion, the small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the hands and inclusion stickers, we include our yes, 250 pesos, we need to call our mga Pinoy EWDs is 150 pesos, hands and inclusion is 150 pesos. What are the modes of payment? We can also buy these at the Hands and Inclusion online shop. But you can pay via GCash or PayMaya on the number flash in your screen 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. It will deliver to you via TalkTalk, Lalamu, GoGo Express, Grab, this is CV Philippines, and LBC. So hurry, don't delay. Just buy from the Hands and Inclusion online shop now. If you do this, you will be glad you did. If you want to donate for Hands and Inclusion, you want to donate something for Hands and Inclusion? Well, we can do this. No 
matter what, regardless, right? Doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. You may do so via Gcash in our pay Maya on this number slash USD 0917 Again, that's 0917 And for those who donate that, Thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hansen in Future. On March 27, 2021, Hansen Inclusion will have another webinar. The title of this webinar is Kapin Inclusion Para Sa Kababahita or Inclusion Talks to the Youth. So who are our speakers? First, is Val Baria Mitchell. She is a member of the Ethics Committee of Anthony Inclusion, former member of Autism Strong Philippines and the former Vice President for Internals of Anthony Inclusion. She did motivational speaking when she started to sing it. Singer by profession, both choral and solo, and as a vlogger. And she is married to David Mitchell. Olive Medina is a mother of a child with autism. She is the co-founder of Lorenzo Sanctuary and Dotera Wellness Advocate. And Leah Camille Buenaventura, the current student activity head of La Rola Peace at Libro. On March 20, 2021, at 2 p.m., Delosol College of St. Veneers will have its virtual commencement exercises for first term 2020 to 2021. So our fellow will be graduating on that day. Advanced congratulations. And you will watch for the Venetian graduates for first term 2020-2021, you will watch this via the Benil and the Benil slash Benil. On March 26, 2021, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., the Delta College of St. Benil, in collaboration with the Venetian Student Envoy, the Center for Inclusive Education and EdTech will have this webinar. We include the talk on inclusive online learning. The speakers are Sir Benny, the faculty of the School of Multidisciplinary Studies and a member of the Center for Educational Technology. Ms. Shell, the faculty member of the School of Deaf Education and Applied Studies in the Benil Deaf School. And Attorney Jude, the faculty member of the School of Management and Information Technology and the current chairperson of the Human Resource Management Program. If you want to join, you may do so via being through the talk on inclusive online learning that you can find that talk. This, this webinar is free. You want to follow us on Hanson Inclusion through social media? Well, we'll do this on social media. And also our YouTube channel. You may do so by following us on the following social media pages. Facebook has an inclusion in its page. So I turn to move and I feel it in Instagram and WordPress and Hansen Inclusion PH. And subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Filipina. In addition, you may want to follow the associated pages of Hansen Inclusion. For Facebook, we have Inclurajo, Inclusports, Ingunian, Online Shop, and Ingugaming. And of course, the Ingugaming YouTube channel. Regarding the anticipated return of Hansen Inclusion Philippines in the future that will happen soon, upon clear patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hansen Inclusion Philippines in the future. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, Hiling namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin na sana bumalik ang Hansen Inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon. Hiling ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng maging maayos tayo. Sana maging, uh, magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula sa Hansen Inclusion team. It's now the time for our shout out and greeting. Uh, first, uh, to our birthday celebrant, Albert Brian Abelito, Bea Lagman, Christine Vedanes, and John Paul D. 
and to my grandfather, Tatsuyoshi Kanahashi. Happy birthday to my family. Good evening. Hi to my uh, members in Handsome Inclusion, Best Buddies, Angat, and my high school and college friends. Good evening. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. And this year, we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of Cancer Inclusion. And this is our new phase of One Inclusion Nation. Ito ang bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. Why? Because despite the achievements that we have done for the past four years, the existence of Cancer Inclusion, we do change a lot. And we still continue to have hope and grace. At nagkaranas tayo ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. So therefore, as we celebrate this important milestone in the history of our organization, Anthony Inclusion will continue to serve persons with disabilities, to continue to share stories of persons with disabilities and advocates. That's why, what is inclusion for us? Inclusion means for all, regardless of race, language, and religion, in order for us to create a civilized society. And also, Anthony Inclusion will continue to, to put God first, truth first, people first, and also to promote the Philippine culture and to show discipline. Okay, uh, that will be all for tonight for editorial for Monday, March 15, 2021. I'll be back again on Wednesday for the editorial segment. On behalf of Info Radio and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi. Thank you. Good night. May the Almighty God bless us all. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. To God be the glory. To God brings us peace and our everlasting peace. Para palain tayo nawa ng poong may kapal. We include Ariel. Ngayong isa-apat ang libertaryo, ito ang bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We at Hands and Inclusion include us and include each other. One Inclusion Forever, HNI, God first. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Magandang gabi. Magkikita kita tayo ulit sa Merkulis. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Magpa-shoutout ba si Farno Palam? Rodelio, salamat po. Salamat po. Salamat sa pagkikipan noon sa atin. Thank you po.